Good morning, everyone. I'm Tim Nyland, and today we're going to be reintroducing the Earning Certain family of equity model portfolios for 2021. And we're going to discuss how it all began. Before we get started, please like, comment, and subscribe, and come back every week for more videos on investing strategy and making the most of Zach's Pro platforms. On the screen, you'll see that we have the S&P 500 composite price and earnings chart from the Zacks research system. All I need you to acknowledge at this point is just look at the blue line and look at the variability in price relative to the underlying earnings stream for the S&P 500 plotted in orange. And you'll see that there's a lot of variability as you look at the 25 year history of the S&P 500. Next, I would like you to take a look at the earnings certain portfolio. This is the core 75 stock equity portfolio. And you will notice something vastly different, right? Much, much more protection on the downside during recessionary time periods because of this portfolio's superior ability to continue to grow earnings even through those recessionary periods. So again, to have a good appreciation for the earnings certain family, all you have to understand is that in order to preserve capital and continue to compound uh, your your investment gains. Uh, the best way to do that is to pay attention to the underlying corporate earnings and minimize the downfall uh, in your portfolio, downside capture during these recessionary troughs. Okay. This can be very well quantified by just simply looking at some price performance data between the earnings certain portfolio and the S&P 500 itself. And you can see that from 1996 to 2002, the S&P ramped up, and then during the dot-com crash, by the time 2002 rolled around, had you been benchmarked to the S&P 500, uh, you would have basically given up uh, about five or six years worth of gains, all the way back to 1997. Okay, Same thing can be said going into the financial crisis, had you held the SPY or any other instrument benchmarked against the S&P 500. Uh, that was closet indexed the S&P 500, uh, you literally gave up a decade's worth of gains. And you can also see that from the peak before the great financial crisis until it finally recovered, it took about five years. And that's what we're showing here with this red line. Earnings certain portfolio is here in blue. And you can see a much, much different scenario playing out. Okay, Just constant steady growth. Yes, we didn't participate in this massive run-up but we weren't taken to the cleaners either here during this recession and certainly not during the Great Recession. It only took two years for the earnings certain portfolio itself to recover, and those gains have just continued to compound ever since. Okay, and you can see that here on the screen. We take a look at the performance of the earnings certain portfolio composite versus the S&P 500 index throughout the COVID era. This is a three-year history, and you can see going into COVID, you can see the protection on the downside through COVID and then obviously the recovery. So it's traditional for the earnings certain portfolio stocks um, to, to not participate in as much downside capture as the S&P 500 and they tend to rebound faster and harder out of the recession. Uh, and, and in terms of COVID, we saw this as well, okay? So why was the earnings certain portfolio originally created? The ECP portfolio itself solves a major problem for us with dividend discount modeling, and that is how we actually extract this concept of a forward-looking equity risk premium from a market proxy like the S&P 500. So the problem with the S&P 500, as I've just shown, or any other market proxy, is that they tend to have a lot of earnings variability that actually contaminates uh, the equity risk premium when you go to derive it. So if the the earnings certain portfolio can eliminate the variability in the underlying earnings, and it actually does. You can see I've got that noted here. And we actually have a constant and reliable forecast EPS growth trajectory, and it does. We just looked at that. Then the ECP portfolio can, can be used to accurately measure fund flows between the equity basket of securities and the risk-free basket of securities, resulting in a real market-implied equity risk premium series. As a matter of fact, the ECP is used to calculate equity risk premium each week at Zacks. And an interesting byproduct of this process that wasn't until several years later that we realized the earnings certain portfolio methodology 
actually had superior cumulative performance and risk metrics versus the S&P 500. And over the course of the next several weeks, we're going to spend a lot more time diving into each one of the earnings certain portfolio family members and looking at uh, the performance and risk metrics. So how was the earnings certain portfolio actually created? Uh, it's a very disciplined process that's actually distilled out of four other portfolios. So members just don't arbitrarily go in and out of these portfolios. Um, this is a very, very well-defined process that is that is that has taken place over the course of 25 plus years. So step one in the process is the creation of the standard industrial portfolio or the standard industrial proxy. So 25 years ago, uh, roughly, we started out with the S&P 500. We stripped out all the companies from basically the energy, financial, precious metal, uh, commodity, utilities, real estate uh, sectors and industries. And we got rid of companies in the S&P 500 that had financial regularities, any companies with really short financial histories. And if you do that today, you'd still end up with roughly 250 or so names. Um, we went ahead and added back 150 like names outside of the S&P 500 to create a universe of 400 names, and we call that the standard industrial portfolio. Okay. Step two in the process is the cyclical portfolio. So if we were to have a good market proxy for an industrial basket of securities like we do with the standard industrial proxy, you would assume that you could split that in half and roughly half of those members would be more cyclically oriented or more tied to um, the, the status of the economy versus those that have uh, more earning stability would be your more growthy type names. So the 200 most EPS unstable names were placed in the cyclical portfolio. And then obviously step three would be to calculate uh, and construct the growth portfolio. And that would be the 200 most EPS stable names. Uh, that would go into the growth proxy or the growth portfolio. So the neat thing is, is that you can see this entire history playing out inside your advisor tool subscription. Um, everyone has access to the equity select lists, and you'll see that the very first three um, portfolios, or what we call proxies in there, the stack standard industrial proxy, the growth proxy, and the cyclical proxy, um, those are available to everyone uh, inside advisor tools. And you'll notice that I utilize all of these portfolios during my strategy sessions uh, when I'm looking at, at uh, macro level trends. And the neat thing is, is that these are very, very clean benchmarks for evaluating not only the growth basket of our economy, but also that, that, that group of securities that's tied more to the business cycle or the status of the economy. And those are gonna be your cyclical or your value names. So if nothing else, these, these baskets of securities are great for using as universes to, to pick from, um, universes to g draw names from for any reason, for any analytical purpose, um, 200 stocks in each. The growth and the, and the cyclical both roll up to the 400 names in the standard industrial portfolio, okay? Step four in the process is the actual creation of the earnings certain portfolio. So the 75 most earning stable names from the original 200 growth companies is what actually originated the earnings certain portfolio. The earnings certain portfolio actually represents a family of equity models in advisor tools. So you'll actually see equity model portfolios beneath your Zach's research menu. And you can actually see the four equity model portfolios that, that comprise the earnings certain portfolio family. So you've got your core 75 stock portfolio here. This was the original earnings certain portfolio. Okay. So what is the earnings certain family of equity model portfolios? It literally consists of port four portfolios. You've got your core 75 stock portfolio, again, the original portfolio. You've got the core Admiral 30 stock portfolio. This is a little bit smaller uh, portfolio, a little easier to manage, um, actually has a little bit more defensive characters characteristics in nature, a little bit lower beta, and then obviously your dividend aristocrat uh, 25 stock portfolio. This is more of the 25 highest yielding names out of the original core 75. And then we utilize the macro tilts um, to manage our upside capture in upward trending markets because the beta for all three of the remaining core portfolios 
uh, tend to be much less than one. So in order for us to maintain performance uh, for the ECP core portfolios themselves, uh, we utilize this macro tilt uh, to get us uh, some additional beta and allow us to participate in that upside capture that's so critical in up markets. The interesting thing about the ECP macro tilts is that they have been in existence since roughly 2012. And this group of six stocks represents over 20% of the weight in the S&P 500. And since 2012 has actually represented the bulk uh, of the returns from the S&P 500. So it's a great way to capture that upside uh, in the S&P 500 with the least amount of stocks. Uh, so a really, really nice macro strategy. So what can you expect from the quarterly maintenance of the earning certain family? Uh, the process starts literally 30 days prior to the end of every calendar quarter. That's the formal process. Obviously, each and every day um, I'm going through and, and analyzing portions of, of all of these portfolios as I'm, you know, working with clients and prospects uh, so I'm, I'm i'm on this daily but the formal process starts 30 days prior to the end of every calendar quarter um, the analysis is still done the old-fashioned way um, and that is that it's basically done security by security um, within each of the equity select lists first so it literally starts at the very top of the standard industrial portfolio um, the process is 100% fundamental in nature. It utilizes no screeners and no quantitative processes. Um, again, um, any sort of, of, of changes that need to be made, uh, reclassifications that need to be made to the growth and cyclical portfolios, um, those are all performed once a quarter. Uh, additionally, any of the earnings certain portfolio members those are obviously analyzed individually as well. I look at the historic and forecast EPS stability as well as the financial statement quality do a full analysis uh, relative to the depth of history that's available. The other thing that's unique is that the overall business model of each company is also reviewed to ensure the continuity uh, of the business into the future. Um, the most recent example of this being an issue was Stericycle. Um, and this is very, very common. It happens from time to time when you get a CEO or a management team that wakes up one morning and just decides that they're going to abandon the business that's, that's brought them to where they're at today. Um, they've been doing it for 20 years, but they're going to they're gonna embark on a completely new business starting tomorrow. And um, the latest example, again, was Stericycle, uh, ticker SRCL, if you'd like to look at that. Um, we obviously removed that. The stock collapsed. Um, but ensuring that that overall business continuity is there is, is mission critical for us. Um, changes to all the equity select lists and the earnings certain portfolios are published quarterly and made available to ECP subscribers. Alerts can also be set in advisor tools to notify users of, of all the changes to the equity select lists and, and equity model portfolios as well. So definitely um, kept informed of, of all the changes. Implementing the earnings certain uh, portfolio as a core equity model is very, very simple, and we'll go into a lot more detail uh, in, in future webinars. But just think of it as an equal dollar allocation that's, that's in core meant to be rebalanced a minimum of one time per year. Again, step one is just basically choosing which ECP core family member you're going to use, whether it's going to be the, the original 75 stock portfolio, the easier to manage and more defensive admiral portfolio. Um, or if you're looking for something even a little bit more conservative, something with a little higher yield, uh, the dividend aristocrat 25 stock portfolio. Generally speaking, weights between 40 and 80 percent. We'll get into that scenario, uh, obviously, in later webinars. Um, but again, critical to utilize those, those macro tilts, that six stock tilt portfolio that we discussed earlier. Uh, generally speaking, depending upon uh, what weights you're utilizing for your core versus your tactical tilts that we haven't discussed yet, that's going to be about a 15 to 35 percent weight, sometimes even higher, uh, depending upon the mandate. Step three, and, and sometimes step three will actually be a zero percent when you're actually going through a recession or, you know, on the onset of COVID. Um, these, these tactical short-term tilts uh, that you want to put in uh, are basically uh, exactly what we removed from the original ECP uh, family members uh, in the very beginning. So these are going to be all your financials, your energies, your real estates, utilities, commodities, precious metal names. All of these 
these sectors and industries, these are the sectors and industries that are responsible for the catastrophic earnings decline and subsequent price disasters of the S&P 500 during the recessions and downturns and any other black swan event. But during the, the economic recovery cycle that we go through, um, you know, after we get out of a recession or post COVID, you know, it's, it's important to get some exposure to some of these, these sectors and industries. And you can see obviously financials, energy, um, some of these are obviously been our top performers this year. So we use these short term uh, tactical tilts uh, for that purpose. So very, very easy to implement. Um, how do you become a client? Yeah, the easiest way is through Zach's advisor tools. Um, we have basically four levels of subscription available. Uh, the, the ZAT standard subscription ECP is still available for, a, for a, an additional fee as a premium add-on. If you're a subscriber to ZAT premium or ZAT professional, it can be included as a premium add-on. You have some choices there. Uh, if you subscribe to ZAT portfolio manager, it's actually included in the base service and it also includes the Zach's research system. Uh, again, inside the Zach's research system, all of these equity models uh, as well as the equity select list are included as analytical composites. So you've seen my strategy work where I utilize all of those composites. That's how it's done. And keep in mind that ZRS is bundled with the ZAT portfolio manager proposition. We also have available uh, a premium support level for ECP clients. Uh, it is available for a little bit of additional fee, but it's for anyone that wants to utilize ECP as their own methodology and you get a premium uh, level service for ongoing support. If you need assistance with tactical tilts, applying the macro tilts, market strategy, marketing materials, if you need to do some style analysis or just have questions on general ECP imp implementation, that, that's the perfect level of support to subscribe to. Um, that's about it for this week. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button below and be sure to subscribe for future videos. Um, keep in mind that next week, you'll wanna be sure to join me. I'm gonna continue on with the ECP 75 stock core portfolio. We're gonna take a look at sector allocation with and without tilts, risk and return characteristics, and we're also gonna dive deeper into what makes the ECP 75 stock portfolio so successful. If you have any questions, or ideas for future videos, please leave a comment below or email me at tnyland at zax.com. You can also follow me on social media, and I'm on LinkedIn and Twitter at Tim Nyland. If you're interested in getting started with Advisor Tools or ZRS, or if you're looking to upgrade your current subscription, please contact our world-class support at advisortools at zax.com and zrs at zax.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you all next week. Mm -hmm.